Number 54. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate the Ka for each of the weak acids and Kb for each of the weak bases. And then we have letter C out of the bunch. So we have CH3, 3N, and then they tell us that, okay, at equilibrium, we have that concentration of 0.25 molarity. We have a CH3, 3NH plus concentration of 4.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity and an OH minus concentration of 3.7 times 10 to the negative three molarity. So the first question is, are we going to be a weak acid or a weak base? So basically, you could figure this out by knowing what you make. If you make hydronium, which is H3O+, if one of your products is hydronium, that means that you're going to be acidic. You're an acid in solution. However, if you produce OH-, that means that you are a base. So in this example, my CH33N, I produced OH-, that means that this is going to be a base. And bases, the B in KB stands for base. So we're going to be solving for the KB here. Now, in order to set this up, we should have a balanced equation. And remember, all acids or bases are always in water. Water is the solvent for acid-base reactions. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we have CH3, 3N, plus H2O. This base is not one of our six strong bases, so it's going to be in equilibrium, and that's why there's double arrows here, and they did tell us that we have equilibrium concentrations. Now, if this is a base, remember, bases always gain a hydrogen, and that's why one of the compounds is CH3-3NH. That's what you produce. That's your conjugate acid, so ch 3 3 NH plus. And then if this gained a hydrogen, the H2O had to lose a hydrogen. And that's where the hydroxide comes in. So that's why for every base, you will produce OH minus. Okay, so there's our balanced equation. And we just stated that we're searching for KB because we uh, formed hydroxide in solution. Let's write out what we got. Well, they told us that we had a CH33N concentration of 0.25 molarity. We have a CH33NH plus a concentration of 4.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And then the hydroxide is 3.7 times 10 to the negative three molarity. Now you may be asking, well, what about water? Why didn't they give us a concentration for water? Well, remember, water is acting as the solvent. It's a liquid. And remember, for any K equation, I don't care whether it's Ka or Kb, liquids are not allowed. So we use the water to get a balanced equation, but no calculations for water because it's a liquid. Now, let's write out our Kb equation, right? And remember, it's just like any K value. It's always products divided by reactants raised to the coefficients. But it's all one to one to one to one here. Acid bases are usually going to be like that, so you don't really have to worry about the coefficients. And then just remember, if you have two uh, components on one side, so I have two products here, remember it's being multiplied together, not added. So we have CH3, 3, NH plus times OH minus divided by CH3, 3N. Now let's just plug in those numbers. KB equals something times something divided by something. So we got the 4.3 times 10 to the negative third times 3.7 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0 0.25. Let's put this all in calci and then we'll get a number. Let's see, 4.3 times 10 to the negative third times 3.7 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0.25. Uh, two sig figs for this one, if we care, no one cares. Does anybody care? No. 6.4. 6 
times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's it. And the k value should be relatively low, less than 1, because all weak bases or weak acids will always have a greater value uh, at the start than your products. Weak acids and weak bases do not like to dissociate. They like to hold on tight. So your concentration, your equilibrium concentrations would always favor your original base or acid over your ions at the end. And that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And I will be talking to you all in later lessons. And yeah, let's keep having fun. Let's keep learning. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.